Hello everyone and welcome aboard. I'm here, Captain Hillian tonight, along with... Pacer Mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service. And welcome back to Dave the Diver for... What our Let me scroll up a bit over here. <laughs> our eighth stream of this. Like, this game is starting to rival some of our longest <laughs> playthroughs so far already. 
no. Says so that probably the longest one had, might have been Symphony of the Night. Yeah, not Symphony of the Night, uh, Bloodstained, but it, it is getting to the double digits. And I yeah. think Bloodstained took about 12 episodes or so, 12 streams. Yeah, and I think you were getting voted it was to get take 20. <laughs> okay. Um, what we're currently going on is that we need to get we need to catch some tuna for an event in two days. We also need to find that baby whale and build up trust with the sea people, where we who we can't fast travel to at the moment since the fast travel mirror needs sunlight. And yeah, we also need to get the pictures of the manta ray, which only shows up on well, which only shows up during nighttime. So we can either go do that, or we can go make some money, but we have a decent amount at the moment. So let's see, yeah. can we... Oh, okay, we've upgraded our diving suit to the max. I hadn't realized that. Nice! I say let's do the manta race, <laughs> we get that done. But I do think we did quite a good amount of money. At least we should have enough to pay the rent, and we will still return to work the rest of the night. Yeah. And... Uh, just look at how much it costs to get another visit from the salvage drone. Holy. So yeah, we better get some damn big tuna with those. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have enough to cover the costs of the day. Yep. So let's go see if we can find that manta ray, get the photo that we want, and catch some other fish as well. Okay. And yeah, again, this is this just looks really pretty at night as well with all the extra lighting. Yeah, like I would not dare to this, but I, I think I can appreciate swimming in a game like, at night and looks like this pretty. Yeah. As long as I know there's nothing dangerous. Yeah. I I believe that is uh, the main thing that has people want uh, worried about. Uh, uh, with Thalassophobia, I believe it was, it's the fear of deep waters is, well, that y you feel vulnerable from every direction. Yeah, it's a case of a fear of the unknown in the deep sea. Like, you, you don't know what is down there. Yeah. Take that. Let's see. Oh. We got our rifle. What is that? Uh, this jellyfish? It's a barrel jellyfish, I believe. Oh, okay. We have... We have... Uh, controller. Okay. Uh, okay, that's... Come, come on. It's multiple times now that the controller, for some reason... Yeah, takes its own... Come, come, come on! Okay, do I need to pair this thing up again? Let me... Get some distance. Okay. Uh, Bluetooth settings. Th this is possibly due to the new place that the Bluetooth dongle is in. Like, it, it's not that much further away. But maybe it's getting interference from some of the stuff nearby. It. I might just get an extension cable just for the Bluetooth dongle and just hang it somewhere where, well, there's nothing else to interfere. Uh, no, I'll keep that open if it, in case I need to <clears throat> repair it. Because if the controls are just not, if the controls are literally going to dive into danger, then that's not going to work out. It, it's literally taking... It's literally steering me in the opposite direction of where I'm trying to go at times. Okay. Um, where was it? Yeah, at a depth of about 20 meters is where everything is set up. So... Yeah, about. So could be a few more, could be a few less. Might as well catch a few murrays. 
is their meat is pretty good, I believe. Or at least the recipes with them is. Ow. We really need to find some oxygen. Yeah, we love Lightning tip, oop, shark. Not the time to be messing with one of those. Now, ah, here. Okay. Let's keep looking for the lights. Hmm. Ah, there they are. Those look like lighting fixtures. The sharks must have knocked them down. We need to prop them up and connect them again before taking pictures. Okay. There. Okay, it's a big ass plug. There we go. Now we need to put the bait for the manta ray down. Good, it looks better illuminated. I should lure Plankton by dropping the lure capsule in the middle. Yeah, and th through the... Yeah, by luring the, the... By luring the Plankton, we lure the Manta. Oh, there they are, the little bastards. <laughs> it's a whole sphere of them. Oh, I see glowing worms. They make this... They make this scene surreal. Ah, manta rays won't come if I'm here. Mm. I should hide behind a pile of rocks so uh, behind the uh, behind the pile of rocks over there until one appears. I'm suddenly nervous. Wait, is this going to is this introducing a bit of stealth as well? No. Oh that is a big one. Ooh, that is really a manta ray. I must keep my distance so I don't scare it off. Okay. Some oxygen. Okay. Did you just miss your chance? What? Don't don't I need to get there to Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? That is a bit much. Okay, but we need to get close to we got to I got too close to the glowing worms to does that mean that we need to swim around or something? Because the photo spot is right in the middle of that whole thing. So... Okay, just wait for it to take off. There, okay. Okay, manta ray when the target is illuminated. There we go. Okay, no optionals. There we go. Good, this is fantastic. Now I must go up and talk to Udo. Okay. It's better I than worth the pay. <laughs> hmm? I hope expected there be to have a surprise boss fight by a giant monster ray. <laughs> They're pretty huge there, but still, you know what I mean. Yeah. With the things that we've been fighting. Yeah. Okay. Let's grab a few more things. And then we'll head off. I hope that yeah, you know, I hope that the the price for this is worth the possible lost revenue. Hopefully. And I'll go grab some ice cream. Do you never get jealous of when I eat snacks, do you? Nope, because I have plenty of my own. And if, when I don't, I can easily go buy them. <laughs> Shark. 
Wait, is it actually running away? Okay. And controller. I'm back. Welcome back. Yep. Stop. <sighs> yep. Okay, I just do not get why it puts in random commands at times. Like, most of the time it seems to behave, but for now, for example, it just... Uh... Yep. Yep. Uh... Is there something about enemies being nearby that is somehow messing with things? So I... uh, shouldn't be the case. It would make sense if it was confusion. Like you say, it kept going the opposite direction of where you want to go. I don't think we've been introduced to confused mechanics. It's just the controller is being weird for some reason. Oh, wait, we can... Yeah, let's carve this one. Since it's already dead. If we manage to tranquilize some, one of these somehow, then I would say to bring in the drone. Oop, another shark. That's all the ammo we have. Yep, miss. Yep. Okay, it lost interest. Uh, there was ammo somewhere around here, I believe. There it is. Okay, Most shots lose interest if you punch them in the nose. True. I'm gonna grab that. Not sure what could be causing interference with the controller, and even then, it just seems to happen randomly. Okay, come here, you. Oh, but it did not do to someone else is using a controller for. You know, shouldn't be. Back in my business, we had VCR. Me and my and one of my brothers had the same VCR. But something's happened, and one of them pranked me. I use the old remotes on my VCR. Okay, I think you're new. You can see what uh, what happens sometimes when I watch the movie. Yeah. You know, sorry, paused, or something oh. started to record back and forth. The heck? It, I, I just do not get why it does. It seems to be only when enemies are nearby for some reason or something. Get the fucking move on you. And completely missed that one. Okay, give me this. Okay. And there we go. It's another dead shark. Okay. Copper shark. Okay. Don't think we found those before. I never heard of Copper Shark. Uh, wait. Oh, wait, they have. Wait. They grew that big? Apparently. Let's see. Uh, which of these? Act yeah, this one actually does more damage. Hmm. Why was he making a guitar sound? I'm not sure. Probably just the, this thing for. The audio cue for the thing you know that you've picked something up. Yeah, I don't know. You, you said it only mess up when enemies get close? Yeah, because now it's, it's behaving. Maybe a processing thing or something, since it doesn't have to keep track of enemies or something whilst we're doing this. Yeah, I don't... it sounds weird. It's, it's almost sounds like it, it might be a game mechanic. But... Uh, if it was, they should have known about it. I, I, it's a pro, it's a thing with the computer at the moment, I think. So I'll definitely have yeah. to look at getting it its own cable. Probably put it on the middle of my desk. Cat food. We we keep feed, for, I keep forgetting to feed the cats. Let's see. Oh no. 
Oh. I think I know where we find a funny cat food down here. Cuda. That's from the delivery boat. Big boy? Oh, right. Okay, that makes more sense yeah. than what I was thinking. I want to see if we can take this one on and capture its sure? hole. Maybe not alive, but. Yeah, I was to say, has someone been trying to fish for catfish? For cat food? Good fucking. Okay, we're, we're just going to leave. If the controller just does not want to cooperate for some reason whilst fighting sharks, then I'm not going to risk all we've already gathered. I I don't get what the hell is up with this. Yeah, this is weird. And the, the only difference is that, that the Bluetooth dongle is somewhere else. It's of course should have... Actually, I, I don't... I haven't had many big audio issues since the swap except for one time that it still lost connection but i think that was more with the overall audio thing but if it's going to be messing with my controller this much why is this there Let's correct that then i might have to put it back or yes yeah, something else hmm. Hmm. this is a manta ray look how majestic it is <laughs> My ears are tear, you see? Uh, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Our editors will love this picture for sure. You're, you're my hero. Uh, we'll see you again. Okay, a thousand gold. I'd say that was worth it. Night photo spots. Okay, from now on, photo spots will appear at night as well. Take nice evening pictures. Okay, All there right. we go. Okay, almost two and a half meters of shark. Good amount of meat. Probably could have dumped this one out, but oh well. Ten of that, ten of that. Moray eel row. And shark row. Okay. And one of those again. <laughs> okay. Now, let's check on the fish farm. And then we'll head... <clears throat> then we'll head to the restaurant. Okay. Almost at capacity. Oh yeah, that's a bunch of them. Uh, sell all the cheap ones. Or not sell, but send them to the kitchen. But yeah, we, we're just not going to be short on fish uh, meat at any point now. Let's see, clown yeah, fish. Oh yeah, we can sell them as well, yeah. Actually, we should probably do that with the sum of them. Yeah. Let's see, we probably have plenty of meat of these. So... Okay, these are only small amounts for these. But still, over time, this could very much add up. And we've got good ones of those. And we've got a bunch of row in here. Okay. And here, let's actually, let's send some of these over here. Uh, some cans. Cuttlefish, I only have the good ones off. Okay. Hmm. We'll want to upgrade this one for its capacity soon enough. Uh, let's see. Okay, new areas we can also buy. Um, let's spend a bit to expand that one. And let's see. Hmm. How are we with our upgrades here? Hmm. We can probably get this one after tonight. Okay. But for now, we had an over here. Oh, hello. Just someone is showing off. 
Okay, what are you up to now? What? See, people? It's hard to believe that something I've only heard of in legend is real. <laughs> if there is good beer in that area, I wouldn't mind trying some. I'm not sure if you can make beer underwater. I don't think there will be drinks underwater. <laughs> Hello. New face. Michael Bang, the master? Looks like this is the only place to eat. This is what I don't like about remote areas. And why do you go to remote areas? This decrepit place can't possibly make sushi that will inspire me. I'll just have to fill my belly with what I can get. <laughs> what a rude customer. What do you want? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the movie director Michael... Uh, <laughs> Michael Bay. <laughs> oh. uh, wait, didn't you direct Robot Samurai? <clears throat> Looks like your eyes are functional. Yes, I'm the great action film director Michael Bang. I can't believe he's like talking like that about himself. Yay. I'm filming my new uh, movie, The Stone, around these parts, and I can't seem to get the ending scene right. I think I might find new inspiration with food that'll clear up my head. It doesn't seem like I'll find. Uh, it doesn't seem likely I'll find anything here. I'm leaving. Wait. Robot Samurai was an amazing movie. I watched it multiple times and was moved every time. All I can remember is explosions. <laughs> if you can make another uh, such great movie through my food, I'd be willing to cook for you. Okay. Oh, so you're a fan. I'm grateful, but can you pull it off? Okay. I've got a high standard when it comes to sushi. The rice to use in these parts is terrible, by the way. <laughs> That's why we use the best rice we can find in this region. Give me three days. I'll prepare food that will make your head all will explode with inspiration. <laughs> Well, alright. I'll be back in three days. Don't disappoint me, chef. Okay, what do you have in... What do we have planned for him? Bancho, do you have a plan? Hmm. Turkey is an art form. I know well the pain of an author. Of an auteur. I'll prepare food that will inspire him. However, as he said, the rice I use is the Anon uh, rice of this region. It bothers me that the ingredient has limits when it comes to creating the best possible sushi. I've been listening into your conversation. Mm. If it's rice, I think I could come up with something. Mm. Hmm? We have an idea, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a day. I'll be in touch in the morning. Mm. If we can get to high quality rice, we can make sushi with three kinds of fish. Titan triggerfish, harlequin hind, and coral trout. That's a lot of ingredients. He appreciates flourish. Don't please don't be late. Okay, I'm pretty sure we have Titan Triggerfish at the absolute least. The other two, I don't know if we've caught those before. Oh yeah, we we are good <laughs> with the blue tanks for a good while. Sixty-one. Oh. Uh, wait. Oh, oh, apparently we've got all three of those already. We just need the rice. White rice even. Okay, let's have a look. Best taste at the moment is our... Okay, apparently our seahorses. <laughs> okay, let's enhance that. And once again, we get this one. Well, I'd probably say this is one of my favorite animations here. So those have to be some massive paper lanterns on the outside, if they're that big. Yeah, they can make them rather big. Okay. Let's serve five of these. We've been wasting a lot of fish. Let's see. Bluefin tuna otoro sushi. We can now sort by price since we've got our tasty stuff already. We should be good for our next level, maybe. Let's see, these give one serving each. Those look pretty good, I have to say, and I'm not much of a fan of fish. Mm. A 
let's do five servings of this as well. Okay, this has multiple servings. And no, I'm not going to upgrade it. But I am going to serve eight of them. And we have yeah, <laughs> the the thrilled thrilled shark. Um wait, didn't we Okay, why is this on here two times? Or is this a different? Oh no, this is a Chutoro Sushi. Okay. And it just it just needs the two the the tuna. Oh yeah, I, I probably should have been saving up the tuna for the uh, event. Oh well. Then let's do two of these. Uh, more tuna. It isn't tuna, so let's put up one of those. Uh, let's put up a few of these. And lastly, we go with the signature <laughs> shark head. Oh, uh, no. uh, oh, we've got some new stuff to research. Wolf eel? Steamed wolf eel. The fluorescent tail of a wolf eel is cut and steamed for a long time. The sharp taste of this taste dish is energizing. Bluefin tuna rice bowl. A bowl of rice with bluefin tuna fillet on top. Let's, re let's see. Hawaiian poke. Bowl of rice with yellow, yellowfin tuna akami fillets on top. Popular in Hawaii. And fried yellowfin tuna chochuro over low heat. Let me see. Let's research this one. I think that's the soy sauce he's tasting. But yeah, that should be a good dish for the event. How's the staff doing? Uh, let's see, we've got Mitchell and Tohoku. Tohu yeah, Tohoku. Um, why are you so pricey? 1307. Uh, okay, they are a good cook and a good service. Uh, let's so on the others. Oh, oh, uh, hello, uh, Kathleen Hens. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> I hope Thanks you enjoy the rest of the show. And welcome. Uh, oh, they become a they become a really good cook later on. Okay. Hmm. I, I can't look at the stats where they have at that. Yeah, seven eighty nine. <laughs> Holy. And wait, they oh, they also get a really high appeal for some reason. Okay, even though it starts out really low here. Huh. And you become a great server. And you can you can serve drinks. Wait, hmm. they even have a high appeal. Yeah, even higher. Huh. Okay, at the absolute least, let's hire you. And I'm going to hold off on you. Hmm. They're, they aren't better than any of the people we currently have, but we can send them out on procurement. And, uh, yeah, we can't really see what these people get at their max again. It's a bit, uh... uh it's a bit of a disappointment. Uh, I'd say to, to let you see the possible maximums, uh, anyways. Um... Let's actually, can we see by training? Hmm, 308. Let's see. Does this reveal anything on anyone? At what? I wonder at what point their second skill becomes uh, visible. Oh, yeah, if I remember right, Maki is might, might be one of the best chefs. But she also has one of those special bonus cook things. Yeah, she's level three and she already has 240 cooking. Uh, I think yeah, for now. Yeah, I think she had 999 when she's max. But now let's train up Raptor a bit. There, and does your skill become. No, your skill does. Oh, Raptor seems to have prepared something. Okay. Let, let's, let's spend a bit to see what he's up to. Okay. 
Bold and deep fried white shrimp. Learn. Okay, so we can learn recipes from them as well. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That would give a reason to hire many people and see what they come up with. Uh, you. Uh, yeah, we're we're just going to dispatch you to go get some <laughs> some mayonnaise, apparently. Okay. I'm not expecting much from them at the moment, but they might turn up good later. Um, so I, I might be overspend. I might be overspending on my staff by just hiring on too many people or so. Uh, controller. There we go. And for now, at least we're doing well. So there's no real need to go look at our ingredient. Uh, phone. Some cards did get changed here. Uh, yeah. The black tip reef shark. Okay. Bluefin tuna. And the manta ray. This is the largest species of stingray. Uh, and a long distance pelag pelagic, pelagic fish. Due to, to, yeah, due to its gentle nature, it mainly feeds on plankton. Okay. Controller. And just to get rid of that tag. Ah. Okay, uh, hold on. Anything new from the Eco Watcher? Uh, we can turn in some of this for 40 points. We still haven't seen any of these in a long while. Yeah. yeah let me double check the menu. Okay, looks good. How is our cookster rating? Let's see. Yeah, we need to reach 250 with something before we can get there. Wasabi Max cooking. Wait, some we can get someone. Uh, is that someone else for cooking? Possibly. Or, oh, look or, next to Bonzo. There is one more space for cooking. Hmm. On the other side of Bonzo. But there isn't. Spe there aren't spaces shown here. So what would that be up? Wait, maybe if we add it there, so you can screw down. Maybe. Uh, Maybe you, see, you don't see it as a screw slider because you don't need it yet. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll mostly be focusing on drinks again. Uh, one last look. Hmm. I think Raul Raul might be our first person to swap out somewhere. If we can get someone who is better at cooking than Ko. Um, let's see, 10% chance to increase the number of plates. It's a low thing. And it is only a 20 difference there. But he is a lot, he is 20 worse in uh, serving. Hmm. Actually, yeah, let's... Uh, let's swap you two around. Might not be the best choice, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Though I'm guessing that Raptor will probably outperform him anyways. Okay. Once again, our main uh, thing is going to be serving drinks. Raptor can take care of Wasabi if need be. Okay, there. Uh, a bit early. Yeah, once it starts to pull up to the the edge is where, about where to stop there. Yeah, li like that. If, okay, someone honking their horn. And about there. Okay, what? Uh, I, I just don't get that at times. There. I just... 
Yeah, it just seems a bit random to me about that. Like, sometimes we've gotten perfect uh, from that. Yeah. Okay. A good profit, not the best. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Just realized something I probably should have been doing lately, but I've been forgetting. Oh, bit windy. Um. Hello there, Dave. Have a good night's sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose so. You sound tired. Okay. <laughs> well, I stayed up all night working on something. <laughs> Hello there, trucker. Hello, trucker! <laughs> well, I stayed... Uh, yeah. uh, what were you working on? Uh, hope you're doing okay, trucker. Uh, I'll show you. Get in the boat and come over next to the fish farm. Okay, no choice. See what truck is saying. I knew Ooh. it! You're back in the bar again, wasting away your nights. <laughs> okay. I'm too sad for the alien. Wow, what is this place? <laughs> I tried some food at the restaurant. The sushi has anam, uh, an, anam, anam rice in it. Does um, anam rice mixed in, doesn't it? <laughs> mm, yes, that's the only rice we can manage to find around here. Mm. Banjo has got superb skills, but... You won't meet that picky movie director standard with that kind of grain. <laughs> Since you're staying here a bit longer anyway, I thought you might help me grow some white rice. <laughs> wow, that's very nice. Thank you. <laughs> the thing is, I'm not much of a farmer. What should I do first? <laughs> I've been busy. I've seen how busy you are all day. I'll help you a little with growing the rice. <laughs> it takes about a year in the real world to grow rice, but this is no rice farming game, is it? <laughs> leaning on the uh, port wall. Yeah, uh, you'll be able to see results in two, three days. Mm. Yeah, but the thing is, I've injured my legs. Uh, you'll have to pluck out the weeds. That'll prevent in insects from harming the crop. It of course. If, if, if we can have good rice, plucking weeds have no problem. Uh, the thing there's a rice paddy right behind the, in the restaurant. <laughs> That's really great. Thanks. <laughs> Glad to see you like it. Okay. Oh, and as for the state of the rice paddy, technology has come a long way, and you can use a mobile app to check on it. Um, the app's called Farm Now. I'll update you on the status every morning through the app. Hmm. Okay, so that's one of the apps that was still blocked off? Hmm, that reminds me. I remember when I used to be a novice farmer. Hmm. I'd gone to a farming village in Thailand on a very hot day. I was resting in the shade, and a white-haired village chief it came over, looked right into my eyes and told me, Enough. <laughs> now, now, cool your temper. As it happens, I see some weeds over there. <laughs> Go and block them. Okay. You can now visit the farm. The farm is where you can grow and harvest various crops needed for cooking. Now, th this makes sense to have this here, since we're already m getting our own fish. Might as well get our own rice. Yeah. Oh, so if as we're truck as... I... Why am I keep saying Ice Road Trucker? <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, let's see. At a close call with a high well ex uh, expenses, uh, uh, at a close call with high uh, well expenses, fortunately it turned out the pressure tank just lost air pressure. Gonna have to remember to check it regularly. Okay. Uh, good. Oh. Pluck the weeds out like that and I'll, I'll do the watering. Um. I'm pretty sure that even the picky director will be satisfied with rice of this quality. Okay, Ada will grow rice for you in the farm. If you don't visit often to, uh, often to remove the weeds, the soil health score may drop, causing pests to appear. Okay. So that is already growing, and what is this about? Is this for growing other things? Soybean, perhaps? Is that a hot spring? <laughs> Let's see, that's when I that's when I took a harpoon in the knee. Okay. And yep. it's a spring of some sort, at least. I very much doubt it's a hot spring. Okay. Uh, so the, depending on the size of the harpoon, harpoon to the knee may be worse than an arrow. Yeah. But wait, hold on. I just realized. Depending on the harpoon. That might no longer be a kneecap. Let's see. Hmm. 
One thing I would like, uh, one thing I would suggest as a bit small quality of life thing is to show how much uh, meat of these kinds of fish you already have at the kitchen. If you select press to send the kitchen. Yeah, that would be handy. It's... For now, I'm going to sell off these. Okay, 26. Hmm. You, I'm going to send to the kitchen since you're in a dish. Uh, these, I'll just sell off. It's only small amounts of money with these, but okay. Puffer. Hmm. Actually, we don't need an uneven amount of these. I uh, nope. just realized we have one tuna. <laughs> if we can get another tuna. Yeah, they can start breeding. Okay. Oop, you guys, a bunch of you. Okay. Now, these small amounts will add up over time. And it, okay, it's a good thing that they can go over capacity. That way we can you know, we can have a bunch of breeding pairs going and just sell them when we you know, sell the uh, overcrowding. Yeah. And I'm gonna refill my drink. Let's... For who would know that uh, spicy Doritos makes one thirsty? <laughs> who would have funk it? Right. There, all of those. Uh, no, si 15 for these, okay. Yeah, I'm guessing the deeper that the species lives, the more pricey they also become, to, or the more valuable they also become. Okay. Hmm. Let's actually buy this one, so we can start harvesting from there as well. Let's see. Okay, there, there are three night areas, I'm presuming, or is that. Is there only one night area? Hmm. I. I wonder what these. this line is for. And these two over here. Like, there's only one night uh, one at the moment. And I'm back. Welcome back. Hmm. Now, I'll buy yeah. it the moment. <clears throat> this way, at least we can get a, a good start going. Oh, not for going, not going to forget the, the cat this time. Yeah, a bunch of stuff delivered. Okay. There. Happy kitty. Oh, would this be happen if he had uh, cat enough times? Uh, maybe. Okay, for now, the farming report is available. Also, too good to eat. It's just beautiful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, yeah, farm now is here. Okay. Yeah. I will say this, but do all, uh, you know, like it when people do make the food pretty, but when it becomes too pretty to eat... Then it becomes more a waste, I'd say. Yeah. For you're supposed to eat the food, after all. Like, I can understand making, uh, making decorative things just for the decorativeness, but if you also intend it to be eaten... It, don't overdo it. Yeah, but it should be pretty but still appetizing. Not so pretty that it looks like an art that you can't, don't want to eat. And I probably should have used the mirror, but okay. Oh, yeah. Alright. Um... Let's see, how do we set up the drone again? Did we even need to buy it or something? 
Mm, oh, right. These sensor mines were to be used with this. Uh, and I forgot to... I forgot to check in with Cobra. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. An oxygen bottle is always nice. Yeah, we, we just plain can't hit them like this, it seems. Okay. Hmm. Can I get a... Oh, oh, we can hit them. Okay. Uh, yeah, we might, we'll just probably, we might just have to do with a less quality tuna. Okay. Not that it really matters that much in the dishes. I it just depends on how much, it just determines how much of it we get. Or how much we, we, uh, meat we get. Hmm. I think I've hit one at least twice. I don't want to get mixed in with the batch because then I'll probably just get beaten to death. Like that. Out of ammo. So now we'll have to use the harpoon. Hmm. Yeah. It seems their path is always a little bit different. <laughs> okay, of everything, I have to hit the little blue tang. Wait, did it even damage? It slowed him down. Hmm. It didn't actually hurt, I think. Oh, yes, it does hurt them. Just short. It is breaking it away from the pack. It makes it hard, easier, I mean, easier to identify. Uh, it caught up, I think. Hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a bit tricky. Straight at the needle at first. Okay, I want to get at least one of these. I'm, I'm going to look around for ammo. Let's see, puffer fish. And I'm guessing those noises are being made by the tuna. Let's see, is this a mine? Nope. But sleepy! Yeah, that's what they, the toy hammers have been all about. That, that they can knock out the fish. Yep. That might tend to target, but they're well. Rainbow Brace. Let's see. Anything good in this? Mm, could be worse. Swap. Up oh, and there's one. Uh, okay, that'll probably get us a bunch of meat out of that. probably really should be doing this mostly with mines and such, since these things seem to have a lot of health. Yeah, let's see, I thought you were supposed to use a net for tuna. Uh, yeah, a, a, a net mine, but I forgot to check at the shop. And well, we can shoot them all the same. <laughs> we'll just have it's to harvest the, the meat from way. them. Yeah, and there is an event for these things coming up soon, so I do want to have... Uh, ow. I do want to have some c collection from them, or some supply of them. For next time you have tunas around, get ready with those mines. 
Yeah. There's another species of tuna over this way. Okay. That's definitely, that's definitely one way to or one reason to start up top here. Instead of just jumping to the Sea People Village. Hmm. Ah, there's some ammo. I'll continue with the pack I was already busy with here. And maybe on our second dive I'll go look for the other one. Since these are already hurt. These things are real fast. And I'd almost swear that they were trying to veer into me there. Hmm. Yeah, Dave's going to ha end up with some bruises over this. A missed shot. Probably a few scores as well, for they do have a... Uh... Bladed tails. Got miss. There we go. Just carve this one. Ah, <laughs> revenge. Actually, can I? Hmm. <laughs> okay, I actually did get lucky. And it just woke up. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be funny, but it's not going to work so well. Oh, God. Of all. Just going to bully a puffer fish. There we go. In the bag you go. <laughs> You tell me you put a bag into a bag. I guess. <laughs> okay. No. Is there any more ammo oh, I can oh. find? I hate, but you know, at a time tell you, I have a very lively and imaginative imagination. Yeah. Oh, oh there's even more tuna down here. My brain just had the idea of using. Puffer fish as airbags for cars. <laughs> okay, if you hate yourself, that is. <laughs> yeah, it's it's basically a, a extremely stupid idea. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Available I mean, now if you hate yourself yeah. and want your insurance company to actually pay out. I think it's more of a you want you be that or you may want to do that against someone you hate, but. People I recommend don't do that, but I, do, I doubt it would work since it would probably that dry out before you ever get the chance to do that. Yeah. But still, I think we both can agree that we might have already, or someone might do that as a skit or a scene in a comedy or something. Yeah. Okay. But, oh God. <laughs> There we go. I think people can see why I have a love-hate relation with my own brain. Yeah. Sometimes I have wonderful ideas. Sometimes my brain comes up with them very horrifying ideas. Yeah. <laughs> that scares myself. And him. Okay. How much did we get out of that? So, okay, 2.5 uh, meter long tuna. Mm. Oh, where is this? Okay, I think it's being showing it a bit weird since it's showing. Wait. Okay, this is what we uh, got with the drone, and this is the amount of fish that we carved from the other one. So, do we have twenty meat now or forty? I think it's twenty. It's just showing. It's just being odd since it's showing the dishes instead of the meats more. That's a bit weird. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. 
Let's actually go for the tranquilize. Actually, mm, we can only get one tranquilized. Hmm. Let's see, what does Cobra have? Okay, steel net sensor trap. Catches two fish at the same time. Let's get that. And emergency pager. Okay. Don't think we'll need that, really. Since we're going after two now. Hmm... Let's just get that just so we're able to just dodge the tuna. So they're getting battered around. So some of these. Uh, amethyst I'm saving for the weapons. Hmm. Not seeing really too much else of value. Okay. Um... Yeah, I think we can get a bunch just from at least one live one. So let's take the tranquilizer. Actually, yeah, we we can use the trap to get live ones and then have the the drone come and collect those. So we can just go kill the other ones. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Cookie cutter shark. <laughs> okay. I forgot there was a rare thing. And you don't like, you will not like them. No. Oh. Once not... you see them mouth, you won't like them. The these are new, I think. Yeah. And yeah, there's a reason they called Cutie Cut their sharks, since that's. Emperor Angel. How it looks fish. like when it bites. Okay. How. Okay, we've got a bunch. This is the first time we've seen it, some of these. Uh, Emperor... Emperor Angelfish Angel and fish? these little orange black, the orange and black things ones here. This area actually looks different. Flame Angelfish. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of the same areas or same start so far, but this is definitely new. Hmm. Let's see. If we if we can find that other species of tuna, I'm going to use the net on them. Is this a seaweed forest? I guess. Hmm. And... Have we caught you before? Yes, we have. That, there they are. Okay. Now we just need to... Okay, that thing looks new as well. I saw that just the other day on YouTube. I forgot what it's called. Oh, oh, come on! Stupid little thing. You can reuse it, luckily enough. And I know we have a second one. But, oh, I thought you just picked it up. Yeah, I picked up the fish that it got. Oh, you mean that's what happened? Um... Oh, oh, good catch. Is that going to get uh, grab both of them? Yes, it is. Bye bye. Yellow fin tuna. Okay, and since you're new as well, I'm just going to. Oh, oh you're mighty one. Hey, come here, you. Okay, you're another harvest one. Sheep's head? Oh, sheep. You're you're called the sheep's head? Okay, what hit me there? Was it the tuna? No. Or was it? Okay, going to take out this one, and then we can go hunt the other uh, school. I'm going to stay on this side this time. So I don't get battered from both sides. Ow. <laughs> Let's just get battered from one side. There they hill. There there. There? Yeah, they, they have over a hundred health or something. 
I missed, a f I missed at least one shot, and one shot went into the sheep's head. Okay, come on. There you are, and there you go. Hmm. Okay, we have only one shot and it takes multiple, like four or something to take one of these out, so I'm just going to not bother with the other school. A fish. And instead I'm just going to look around and maybe we can even go look for the, the whale. Definitely going to grab some of you. Curious what sort of dishes you might be in. Can you show sushi? Uh, nope, oh, sushi? Uh, oh, hello. Uh, no, 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 we're, we're stinging this thing, Ray. Get here. You are tough, I'll give you that. But not tough enough. Let's see. Marbled electric ray. Okay. Sounds even worse than a stingray. <laughs> You know, the word like the variants. Probably because it probably because most people don't want to know that there are. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, an ingredient. Oh. Premium or high quality cat food. Okay. That's just a starfish. Okay. Oh, those are new as well over there. Um, okay. Please let that not be piranhas. I don't think they are, but they very much swamp me like them. Oh. Uh, right. I forgot to keep an eye on oxygen. Uh. Uh, luckily, no, that's a bowl. Oh well, we'll have to cut it short then. Still got a good amount of tuna. And two live ones, so we should be able to start breeding them ourselves. Okay. Let's see. Emperor Angel Fish Row, Cardinal Fish Row, Flame Angel Fish Row, Black Spot Sea Bream, Yellow Fish, Tuna Row, Sheep's Head Row. And yeah, we got a lot of meat out of that double catch. Let's see. Yeah, send all of that off. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, hello there. <laughs> you sure you should be out on the waters like this? Oh, the storm is getting rowdy. Tonight, the creature that, ga uh, that gives the super rare boss card will most likely appear. Doesn't it excite you as a marine, a marine cup collector? Not really. <laughs> if you go in the evening, you will see the vortex that was created by the storm. You'll find the creature once you go inside the vortex. I would go if my diving skills were better. That's too bad. Then I wish you luck. <laughs> Okay, so during storms we can fight or refight bosses? Hmm. Okay, got some stuff. Let's not send them off too early. Okay. Let's have a look. Uh, here. Puffer fish upgrades. Yeah, and for angel fish. White and blue in color in its juvenile period, but it develops into another color as it becomes an adult. It rarely mingles with other fish, preferring to stay alone. Okay. Uh, yeah. An electric stingray found from uh, the 
East, uh, Eastern Atlantic to South Africa. Mainly nocturnal on highs in the ground, then emits 70 to 80 volts of electricity when hunting prey. Okay. What the heck is going on? Is South Africa competing to be as dangerous as Australia or something? <laughs> I guess. Oh, that reminds me of something uh, from Doom Eternal that I, I should double check, but it's just too funny not to say. But uh, according to TV tropes, uh, <laughs> if you look at the map, if you look at the planet long enough, you'll get to see that uh, Australia has been completely untouched by demonic corruption. So <laughs> even the hell doesn't want to deal with the hell that is Australia. What the heck? Okay, uh, got to do. Let's see. Sea people trust, baby whale. I should look around to see if I can hear it cry. We need to rise, but we're going to get it anyways. Okay, I need to go into the whirlpool on a stormy night to get the Marinka super rare cards. That sounds dangerous. Hmm. You know, the boss could give us a lot of good fish meat. Yeah. Especially with the giant tuna. So, uh, let's see. The shop is closed, so we can't get any extras. Um... Like a certain uh, duck says, let's get dangerous. Ah, uh, yes, the quote from uh, Dog Wing Pigeon. <laughs> Dog Wing Stork? Uh, Dog Wing Duck. But yeah, you're, you're just pulling my leg there. No, I'm pulling both of them. <laughs> okay. And I don't oh, no, think no, a net my... gun is going to work. Now my med team is just mean. It just made me imagine me pulling off two peglings of you and drum your own head. Pull off two peglings from you and drum your head with them. That would be extremely mean. Yeah, I'll take that. Now where would this vortex be then? Hmm. Oh. We've got a good stick for this. I thought you would get the electrocuted. Hmm. What the heck? This looks beautiful. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm guessing. Yep, that's the vortex. Okay. Anything useful in here? Nope. It okay. Looks furious. Let's top up on oxygen slash health and head in. Yep. Okay, what will be we fight will be we yeah, what will we be fighting? Nope. Hmm. I went in the vortex and ended up here. Maybe these are things that got caught in the storm and disappeared. Uh hello? Hmm? I uh, don't tell me. Oh no. I think that tr big truck just moved. Oh no. Is it Big Trucker himself? <laughs> uh, maybe, but I think we're dealing with a hermit. And we've just intruded on their territory. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> it's a crab. It's a giant enemy crab. Let's find it a weak spot for a <laughs> truck hermit crab. Okay. If, ah, a moving truck? It's not a. It's a giant hermit crab. I don't think a gun will do anything. What do I do? Okay. A big tr trucker. The claw. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's that thing's carapace is going to be too tough to ooh, hello to get a bullet through, but I think this might get through. Yeah, just gonna go and drop this on its head. In the meantime, trucker's probably going blasphemy at damaging a big truck like this. 
Ruby appears to be at the big trucker is the boss for some reason. Okay, so we, I think we took a hit there. Give me that. Okay, just gotta get up high out of its reach. And there we go. Have some ghost pepper beer! <laughs> Did it just... Oh! Okay, now it's figured out that it can protect itself. Okay. Yep. I think that still landed. Watch out for the debris. I don't think an ammo box is going to help here when this, we, our shots literally can't get through this thing. Okay. There. Yep. No, that... Our, our barrel missed there. Oh yeah, there is a giant claw in the background. Did that as well, yeah. What is it up to? That's what it's up to. Ow. <laughs> okay, just gotta push back on this thing. Can we get it to turn around or something? No, it's just going to keep backing up. Okay. Give me that. Oop. Okay, that wasn't... We need to have it land on it. Okay. Okay. Close enough. Nope. Oh, and now it's angry. <laughs> Wait, is that something? That thing was really nothing without the shell. I hope the boss card Sato was talking about has been deactivated. Okay, yeah, that was it. That was an unexpected fight. A piece of the heart, yeah, a piece of the hermit crab pincer came off. Should I pick up a piece? Of course you should. Let's see, trucker. I was thinking Toy Story and that mechanical claw in the background. <laughs> okay. And there's our exit. The Vortex came back after defeating the Hermit Crab. Let's go back to the boat using that. Yeah, Dave is past the point of questioning random bullshit like this. He just accepts it. Accepts that it. If it's going to save his life, he might as well not care about how it actually works. Just like in the Land of the Lost movie, a giant crab starts the heroes, then runs into a water geyser, flies in the air, Lands into cooked pieces. <laughs> okay, and we still have the rest of the night. Let's see. Let's get some more shark. A big road, to, uh, big trucker. There we go. Says explore. A bit controller. Yeah, we should probably also. Bye. Why is it specifically with sharks and such that the, the controller starts to have an issue? There we is go. Is this supposed to, be, uh, to emulate mm. panic when fighting sharks? Yeah, I, it's not that. It, for some reason, the controller starts to have an issue. It's not. It's nothing with the game itself. It's some for some reason that my controller just gets wonky. Whilst they're nearby, yeah, really this is it. weird. Like, why, why with sharks? Hmm. Other been that with all mobs, I would probably, but with anything really, I would probably say the control. But the control only does that with sharks. It almost sounds like a game mechanic when you say it like that. Yeah, but we we faced sharks before without this as an issue. Yeah, just makes so, it, it makes it extremely weird. 
<laughs> I don't remember an update for the game, so it's not that either. So there's something with my blue suit getting wonky when there's sharks on, on screen. Or when sharks are trying to get me. Let's see. From Trucker. I wonder if those machines were used to dig this magic fishing hole. I doubt that. I think they were more of... Uh, victims. Yeah, washing uh, overboard equipment. There we go. Okay. Let's go grab a little bit more. And then probably call it for this dive. There's an escape point there for us. Like with these barracudas, it's not a problem. It, I think it's maybe it's the size of this fish that has an impact on it somehow. Like uh, the bigger the shark is, the more panic. Uh, yeah, no, it's, uh, not it's not the it's not the panic no. mechanic. It's not the panic mechanic. It's just my no. for some reason my freaking USB uh, my not my USB my Bluetooth connection starts to get wonky when the bigger fish are trying to get me. Yeah, oops. Sorry. It sounds so weird. Sounds so weird. But you agree with me, it, it's one of those weird things that you actually have to start questioning. Is it I make him think, oh, there's something weird with the controller? Hmm. But it's yeah. such a thin line there. Yeah, it has to be something with the, you know, the blue suit, you know, the blue suit dongle's new position. I'm pretty sure it's that. But still, I don't get why it would only cause issues when there's big fish trying to grab me. Yeah. It does the weird part. Why only the big ones? And the, it it happen didn't happen at all, at all during the boss all. fight. Yeah. Actually, yeah, this is just making me weirder. I think you can see why it almost feels like it could be a Mickey mechanic, but it might not be either, either as well. But. I'm not going to My mess head with is Bruce. spinning around. Skeleton. Okay. Yep. Lead. Let's see, I'll grab that. It's it's like the presence of the bigger fish or the, the sharks causes some sort of spike in processing requirement or something. Okay, and that way I could see what you mean, uh, that the control of this processing power, but... Really weird! Let's just get out right on the Bruce's nose. Let's see. Maybe change with USB ports? Maybe the one that's connected is an overworked core? Uh, could be, but I've already replaced it from one sp uh, USB part, uh, one that was connected to the front of my computer, to now one that is connected to the back. The, maybe, maybe there's too much distance. Maybe the cord to it is too long for it to keep completely stable. What? You you found a super rare boss card? Astounding! It must be a natural-born ma uh, marine co collector. The sea was unrelenting, with all those terrifying sea creatures. That was serious stuff. <laughs> nah, that's not be no big deal compared to this awesome super rare boss card. Yeah. But I went through all that. <laughs> now, tap share card with friends like this. Alright, there we go. Keep up the good work. <laughs> are, are you are you only here to just leech off of our ability to, well, <laughs> get all of this rare stuff for you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dave seems to have a few uh, fair weather friends, huh? And well, the weather ain't too fair at the moment. Okay. Happy? Yep. 
<laughs> uh, that pun was painful. I'm guessing that nu I'm guessing nutrient we have to buy to refill every now and then. Oh. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> I, I, I'm getting worried for him. Like, is, does he live like that? Mm, I think he's just doing this since we're around. If anywhere, if he lives anywhere, it's more likely here since there's a more a bigger structure on the side here, even if the objective screen blocks it. Let's see. Now we really only need to check up here once a day, since nothing ever is going to change during the rest of it. Maybe if we want to expand or buy a new plot. Okay. Let's have a look. So what, some of these bosses are optional. A huge hermit crab found in the blue hole. It lives in an abandoned truck under the sea and is only active at night. Yeah, the, the big trucker hermit crab. <laughs> and oh, we can turn this in. And, okay, we should probably go hunt some barracuda and trigger fish when we get the chance. Uh, might as well turn this in. Still a lot of points needed to continue on. Hmm. Okay, now what's for the menu? We have our blue fin, but we're going to save that. Uh, we can put some frilled shark on. Uh, yeah, that's sort by price. Uh, white trivale. We can put up a serving of that. Um, we don't have enough to upgrade you, but we can serve a few. Okay, fried bread mullets. Let's put that on. Still ignoring the tuna, even though it is all pricey stuff. Uh, some eel curry. And once again, the signature. And lastly, some... Let's see. Oh. Uh, let's upgrade that again. And again. Written something? Let's <clears throat> Uh, I had trouble due to poor board power design, so my USB ports were underpowered. Maybe you're having a similar problem? Try plugging Bluetooth and other higher draw into a powered USB port. I, they're actually in a powered USB port at the moment. I, I think it might be that it, it's too far that it's too far away through its connecting cable, maybe. Because my computer is over to my left side, and the port is actually on the right since that is where I have space to put down the, the, <clears throat> the portable USBs and such. Okay. I think that'll be enough. Research. Uh, Stir-fried hermit crab and seaweed. The meat of a truck hermit crab is stir-fried with chopped kajime uh, and presented on the skin. The chewy and savory flavor of the crab meat is complemented by sea trumpets. Okay. Uh, oh, My oh, brain. These are only one each. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, that's a pricey one. All right, how's the staff? Let's see. I, I really don't think that Ko is going to be getting many tips because Raptor is so bloody fast. Yeah, do he, he has tip master. Yeah. And I think he so... actually, when he levels up, he gets more better at serving. Mm, oh, that is a big jump. Um, I guess he, he's, I... he's, he's, he's thought off as a bad uh, server. But he gets mm. better at it. Yeah. Okay. Hello. You have an idea? 
Mm, I'm not going to risk the... Okay, he has an idea for a recipe, but if we pay him, if we... If we train him, we're not going to have enough money to cover the daily costs. So even though we're likely to get a bunch of money, I still don't want to risk it, really, with that. Yeah. Uh, the saying order it, I should deserves pay, pay too. Let's see. He's going to try and cross all of these off. So they don't pop up anymore. It does okay, not work. Can... Yeah. Do I do feel like the when they whoever drew this probably had a lot of fun drawing the bosses. <laughs> probably, yeah. Okay. Let's get everything tagged so it doesn't show uh, show up as new anymore. Uh, let's see. Let's send some people out to procure stuff. Do we have anyone better for cooking at the moment? No, we don't. Okay. Uh, what if we train you? Nothing new. Still at overall good. So Raul is actually good overall, but he's not... He's, uh, he's a good all-rounder, so he's good to fit in somewhere. But other, ones are, other people are going to be a lot better at doing what he does. So he's a good little fellow character to put in. Uh, how do I send people off to procure again? Uh, yeah, I remember now. Uh, let's see, 20, 42. Dispatch, let's see, what are we short on? Uh, we can send someone to get mayo. We'll send James on that. We have a good amount of sesame seed. We want some of this. I'm actually Wait. going to send two people on that. Mayonnaise hmm. is used for fish? Yeah, apparently. Okay, and then lastly... We can always use more soy sauce. So you can you go get that, Mitchell. Uh, uh, you know I like uh, mayo, right? Yeah. Uh, you know I have told you I dislike paprika. Yep, that reminds me actually. Uh, last time we spoke of that, I, I, <laughs> I made a brain fart because when talking about pa uh, paprika, you were talking about the spice. I was talking about the the vegetable, which is I called thought... paprika in Dutch. Uh, the In English, it's called bell pepper. Yeah, the spice? I'm, I'm okay with the spice. I just don't like the vegetable. It's the vegetable I dislike. Okay, the bell pepper, that is. <laughs> Yeah, and I just got this new man eating that is spicy has paprika. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Cave! Let's see, what is, why is this one always tagged as new for some reason? Or is, no, we can't hand something in. Hmm. Okay, uh, let me double check. Good amount of food. Now we just need a good amount of customers. Okay, and for people not to be as picky with their beer. There. Yeah, the only time you get a negative reaction is when you fail a drink. So far, people loves the food. I'll need, I might need to look up a tip on the beer, because it just doesn't seem to make sense to me. Oops. Okay, and... stop. Uh, again, I just... Uh, Yep, someone's scratching at the door. Give me a sec. Inky! <laughs> Ink has shown up to join, apparently. 
It's been a while. Hello, Inky. And she just crawls immediately under the bed. Am I that terrifying? Really, Inky? Really? Apparently. Okay. Oh, oh, no. I don't get it. She just sometimes she just randomly shows up to crawl under the bed. Excuse me. What are you up to down there? I have party time a day today. Prepare the right ingredients to make a fortune. Okay. Uh, farming reports. Oh, we also got mail. Movie news. Uh, <laughs> hello, this is movie wonder. The weather's getting a bit chilly. How about a creepy horror movie? What if a giant mutant crocodile appeared in the sewer? <laughs> Experience realistic horror on the big screen. If realistic horror, they say, as we look at <laughs> a mechanized crocodile. That, that's not a mutant. That's a mechanized indeed. Um... Okay. Now, before we go anywhere, let's go check out our farms. Okay, this is a trucker. Let some foam overflow. Okay. It's no weeds, so that's good for us. The fish farm. Okay. Okay, I, I like that the game is slowly building up stuff like this. I don't expect for it to add really too much more. But uh, with games like Stardew Valley, eventually I find that things become a chore as you get too many things to do at once. Let's see. Yeah. Let's make sure that we have at least plenty of good meat. Uh, or at least decent meat since we're sending the bad ones over. Uh, heal? Hmm? You want a riddle? Uh, want to what? You want a riddle? Yeah, go ahead. What is the dog's call when a tang dance? By what dance? <laughs> a tang. You know the fish you've been oh. fishing? A tango? Yes. Okay. I don't know if that was a good riddle. I just came up with it. I don't know if that's an actual <laughs> riddle. Uh, it's more like a pun of sorts. Actually, yeah, that is more of a pun. It's... A bad pun, I guess. It just dawned on me. <laughs> I blame you. You did this to me. Let's see. Uh, the line fish, they're doing well. We got one bluefish tuna, one puffer, a bunch of ones of those. Let's see. Keeping you all around. Uh, still overflowed, so let's see who has. To... Okay, you are the ones with the most. So let's send eight of you to the kitchen. And you. Four. Actually, let's keep. Ma a maximum of four of any of just them. So. Uh, still a bit over, so uh, let's do something bigger like a, these two. There we go. Now, as long as we stay under 100%, they can breathe. Okay. Bunch here. Send the kitchen. Mackerel. Send the kitchen. A uh, bunch of these. And let's put five of those there as well. And one more here. Okay. And we've got some new over here, so let's take a look. Okay. Chambered Nautilus, Frilled Shark, Red Bream, Cleone, Three you know, Tooth Puffer. Okay. Um, yeah, we've got plenty of space there, so let's let them breathe for a bit. Now, what do we have here? 
Okay, some Shrox and Murray or Murray. Okay. Uh, do you sell any other plots at the moment? Okay, just expand. So I'm, I am curious about what these other five are about. Yeah. Also, before we go, let's go feed the cat. Come on, Inky, you're getting fish food. <laughs> there. I wonder if Inky could hear that. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, let's have a bit of a look. What we could serve. I can okay. imagine her getting very confused and wondering, is there not a cat in here? <laughs> okay. Actually, the fact that you can go here can help you. This way, you can help plan. Uh, you can plan out a bit on your what you're going to hunt for, like a bunch of tuna, moray eels. But that would be at night. Copper sharks. Yeah, just a nice little thing. Just it. There's. I only have tips for small quality of life upgrades, like showing how much fish food, uh, how much fish meat. You already have of something when you uh, when you're at the farm or the fish farm and going to send over. Uh, I just noticed how everyone over there were polishing the table. Yeah, we're all doing very <laughs> obvious arm exercises with it. Okay. Um. Okay, let's see if we can get another net a lure capsule. Lures uh, fish for a certain period of time, ineffective against aggressive fish. Okay. Hmm. Let's give it a try. I would have preferred a net mine, so we can catch more tuna. But, oh well. Actually, speaking of, let's actually swap over to this one for the moment. Or ac actually, let's go with this one. If you can nail one tuna with that, we can at least capture one alive for a good amount of uh, meat. Yeah, but you definitely really want some that can breed more tuna, if you can. Yeah. There they are. Okay. Of course, the first shot is a miss. Ow. And we've got this start again. Hmm. There we go. Now we just gotta keep up until you pass out. Uh, wait. It... Okay, it didn't get tranquilized, it seems. The effect wore off before it got passed out before it passed out. Yeah, they... you can't trank the tuna, it seems. Okay, that's annoying. Yeah, maybe you need a different tranquilizer for that. Yeah, well, we can always still hunt other stuff and go look for the the baby whale. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I'm just going to grab stuff as we go. And yeah, go listen around for its cry. That's the sound of more tuna spawning. Rather literally. I'm guessing it's going to be deeper than 20 meters or such. Probably somewhere that its mother can't actually reach due to her size. Escape spot there. Let's see, if we've already found some new fish. Let's see if we can find some new ones deeper down as well. Also... Hmm. I doubt that this will work. Yep, thought so. 
Okay. We can tranquilize something that's passive and big, though. Like the parrot fish up, uh, up there. We can catch one of those alive. Big damn, there's another tractor hermit down here. Yeah, for, for those little button mashers, I'm just letting go with one hand <laughs> and just mash. I uh, don't think we have reason to go looking in the record room. Oh, you, you are a big bunch. Anything useful in here? No. I don't recognize those. There. Okay. Yes. There. Okay, what are you? Have we caught you before? I don't think so. And off it goes. Okay, giant Trevally. Hmm. And some more cat food. Hmm. Isn't Trevally the name of a character in One Piece or something? No idea, actually. Okay. I don't know why they have several somewhere? new characters, but that's it. I have heard t saying uh, I have heard that the the anime is or at least the manga is supposed to be coming to a close sometime soon, but I've still n heard no word on if it's if it is if it has actually ended. Probably good it is for otherwise it's getting more and more harder for people to get into it. Let's just put this out here and see if it has any effect. Hmm. I think... I've actually seen... When I've been looking through GIFs at the Discord times, I have got an unexpected spoiler from Burrow, though, actually. Okay. One I, I actually made with Facepalm for the... Reference is extremely... Blunt. Okay. Blue from Jurassic World appears there. <laughs> okay. The raptor. Ooh, a a raptor you. fighting a ninja. Oh, seems that we missed. I, I missed with the rock. So let me try that again. Hmm. Okay, where could that baby whale be hiding out? Actually, I realize. I think we should ask our server, uh, the hmm? guy in the sushi bar, if he's been fighting in. Yes. <laughs> Raptor. Uh, he's not. Actually, what color is he? <laughs> But he is blue, but he doesn't have a blue stripe. Okay. Right. Oh, right. This is the this is the room where they were before. Wait, I just realized the raptor design. Oh, the, I think it might be a reference to a YouTuber. No. And okay, these yeah, these are not uh, are not trilobites. These are since the eight trilobites. Okay. I keep forgetting the name, but yeah. There's a YouTube called Raptor, who does things like Valheim and other games. Like, he, he streams them, put them on YouTube. Yeah. I would not be surprised if you have, have done early access or demos of this. It could and be. Put him in, or he was uh, somehow helping. Or they just like Jurassic World and Jurassic Park. There. Comb jelly. Bloody, that, that you could basically say the yellow is attacking. 
Uh, let me grab this little one. Yellow. Now, what was this shark over here? Yep, actually, let's ignore the shark. And try looking more for that sh whale. Shark will remember this. There. Let's see, we're supposed to be able to hear it when we get close. So I get the feeling it's not going to be this deep down. Pickaxe was expecting that. Let's check upwards. Oh, it's the explosive ones. Raspberry flavor. An electroberry flavor. Go. Oh, it was. I was to say, is it really working? It looked like the power probe was bouncing off. It was, but it was still hurting it. Will it really bounce off a jellyfish? Mm, not really, I think, but. Oh, we're overweight. Yeah, we're. Let's see, anything to throw out? Don't you have an emergency uh, thingy, magic? Yeah, I have a flashlight and an <clears throat> and uh, extra oxygen. Um, wait, these are counted as f okay. Uh, let Let's throw this one out then, since it's only one meat. Okay, let's just try and get around. Ow. Hmm. Ah, crap. Okay, use that. We are going to need to find an escape point. Mm. Hmm? Is this a sea people building? The door is locked. Uh, the, 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 the. Yep. That, that. That also works. Now. Hmm. Okay, we have enough oxygen to look about well, around a bit more. Hmm. Ah, eh, might as well. Let's see how what are we doing on time? All right, see in the stream. Travel, okay. By the crab, by the crab, do whatever spy the crab does. Hmm. Yeah, let, let's just grab a few here. You look new. Salmon snailfish. Okay. Snail fish. Yep. What is the first thing come to mind? Is a sushi escargo? <laughs> okay. And with that, we head out. Yeah, I'm going to guess that the the whale calf is somewhere in the shallower waters. Mm. Yeah, but they mm. do need to breathe. True. And the whales can go pretty deep, but they still need oxygen. Oh yeah, a lot of meat off of that giant trevale. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the shop doesn't refill. Let's still get this one. Can't be used in some areas. Just as a safety precaution. Hmm. Actually, since it's still day, let's go use this. So we're going to at least make some progress on the story. 
<clears throat> All right. Okay, seems like we can probably get a bunch of quests from other people here. Oh, Mima's restaurants. Well, well, are you the human we've been hearing rumors about? You don't look as scary as I expected. My name is Mima. I run uh, I run a restaurant in the village. I'm Dave. I'll be helping out the village for a while. Receiving help from a human? I never considered the possibility before. Let's see. It's not like I can ask you to cook. Hmm. My goodness, I forgot. A Wong and Na Wong ordered bo long bo the launch boxes. Oh, the gatekeepers that were whispering earlier. Yes, would you perhaps take the lunch, bo the, the lunch boxes I left in front of the door? They should still be on duty at the gates. Please help me out, human. Okay, just simple uh, delivery. Yep, the food at Mimame's is <laughs> so good. It's really different than the food at home. Where do you get your ingredients? You've been coughing a lot lately. Hot soup is just right for this. How do we eat soup and water? <laughs> Humans ask such strange things. <laughs> okay, it must be really thick then uh, for it to uh, still be drinkable for, <laughs> instead of just flowing out into the rest of the water. And we actually just need to carry it over. Okay. Uh, what the? Okay. Oh, it's a whale or a. I'm guessing it's a dolphin of sorts. Um, Ewan, what is it? Um, I was asked to bring you these bo lunch boxes. These are from Mima. You didn't have poison on the way here or anything, did you? What? Why, why, why would I? Well, alright, give it here. Good work, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it, these, it's these two's jobs to be suspicious of people. There we go, whispering again. Like, if you two want to go gossip, go join, go join the housewives club. Let's see what is this? Now well, look at this sign. Does it mean I can ride a beluga here? Okay. Is beluga whale? Hmm. Seed shop. Hmm. Are you that Uman? Human, not human. You look interesting. You don't even have fins. You don't even, yeah, you don't even have fins. He reminds me of someone. Yeah. What is this shop you're running? I sell various seeds here, as well as flowers to offer to King Long. King Long? My goodness, don't tell me you don't know who King Long is. He's the great king who saved this village from disaster. It's very difficult to hold the conversation with you, you know that? Go and offer a flower to King Long first. The tribute flowers are on the platform outside. Take one. Yeah, he is very much like Otto. Yeah. Wait, are Unexpected we... Unexpected <laughs> uh, we're just We're just swimming in through the windows, apparently, instead of the door. <laughs> it might be the door, since why would they need... He may not necessarily need a square door. Yeah, but he, he had a square door for a rectangular one. Oh. What, what do you do with that mouth? You can't even breathe in the water. Whoa, my first time seeing a human. Weird. <laughs> okay. And I'm guessing King Long is the statue somewhere in the middle of town. Let's first turn this quest in. Oh, you delivered them, didn't you? Humans are not half bad. I'll tell you if something needs done again. Ten bay and ten credits. Okay. I'm guessing bay is the local currency. And yeah, credit is, uh, well, <laughs> credit with the king, who is not approving of us at the moment. Uh, let me actually see. We have a map. Uh, yeah, King Long S Square. Okay. <clears throat> I thought it was a statue to uh, Poseidon or something. 
Nope. Okay. It's not just I don't never to yeah. see it now. No. So this uh, so this statue is of King Long. It's the same uh, person as the painting from the record chamber. Uh, I guess I can put the flower on the platform in front of the statue. Okay, are we going to get told off or something for doing something wrong? I have done what he asked, so I should go back and talk to him. Okay, no cultural misunderstandings. Okay, I got a quest board. Hey! Don't pop out of nowhere like that. <laughs> you see my gills pumping? Uh, it's a bit hard to miss oh. me. Oh my, I've never seen a human before. You have legs, just like a crab. Uh, a bit less than, though. What do I do? Hmm? Kids, what's going on? Well, we were playing ball outside the village when a Mega Mouth shark suddenly appeared. It's one of our ball. Mega Mouth? You mean the huge? Yes, can you get it back for us, human? It looked really scary. Oh, uh, alright. I'll get it back for you. <laughs> Bro, thank you so much, human. So hard to refuse children. <laughs> okay, Something this is going to be a pain. Pink thing on the neck. Yeah, that, that's their gills. Yeah, so they're, they're their gills. I don't know to realize uh, then. <laughs> they had mistaken for clothing first. Uh, Tenzin said you uh, could stay here, right? We well, don't wander around too much. Okay, old timer. I've lived 200 years and this is the first time I've seen a human. What are you doing here? Okay, 200 years of very sunny disposition from the looks of it. And this looks like a forge. And a blacksmith. Yeah. Uh, are you not feeling well? Human, none of your business. Off. You look very ill. Did I bring you something like coral porridge? Coral porridge? How can a human make sea people food? Brahma had asked me to bring this before. Lies. Humans can be trusted. Mm, well, looks like it's needed, so I'll ask Bancha to make it. The ingredients were feather coral and lily coral, right? Okay. And we need to go find more of that, it seems. But it looks like we don't have it in storage. And these two aren't up for chatting. Okay. I just noticed that our oxygen isn't actually going down. So I'm guessing the air, the water here is particularly oxygenated or something. How, how did you get here? Okay, just confused. Let's see. Game parlor. Yeah. <laughs> uh -oh. Go ahead. I said, uh oh, I saw a lot of shock uh, decorations around. <laughs> okay. You're the human that's been wandering around our village, uh, around our village, right? Yeah. Fancy decorations. What is this place? <laughs> we see people work hard every single day. This is a place of pleasure for the hardworking villagers. So I can come in, right? <laughs> it's all right. Species is no barrier to enjoyment, is it? Yeah. All right. You're helping out at the village, isn't it right? <laughs> yes, I guess that's how it is for now. Yeah. I've been needing help with something. Yeah. This established operates seahorse races, which are extremely popular. Mm. The recent earthquake destroyed the general quarters and all of the seahorses have run off. Yeah. They should still be in the village. Will you go catch them for me? Okay, simple enough. Mm. Come to think of it, Maki gave me a bug net. I think I could catch seahorses with it. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Mm. This is troublesome. All the seahorses escaped. We can't hold the races, and it's tough putting food on the table. Mm. Mm. And that's the stream timer. Let's look around a little bit more. Uh, what are these... Okay, I'm guessing those portals go to the back and front of the of the area. And yeah, we can just swim at speed here without uh, risk. 
You're getting in the way of my farming. Let's see. Yeah, to really? A man <laughs> okay, I guess that works. <laughs> Manatee as a workhorse. Um... There's someone at the temple who needs help, but we can get to that next time. For now, uh, let's see what these portals do. Uh, if anything. Either way, that's one. You rough seahorse! Yep. Did not need mm. that better. The image is horrifying. Okay, I would not have seen that one if it wasn't for the marker atop it. Okay. Let's chat with you and then we'll call it probably. I did peek a little and it seems you did okay. Even so, I just can't trust a human who doesn't even know what King Long has done. Go and do a bit of reading or something. Okay. Oh, hello there. How expect him to know about King Long? Yeah, he could tell, but yeah, well, he could tell some about him, but oh well, he's too grumpy. Okay, now let's head to the, let's head over here and head out. This will probably pass time to the evening. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, Not yes, the most the productive life, but oh well. Yeah, tuna f uh, is tonight, but that will have to wait for next time. Okay. Yep. Uh, some new to do stuff. Another update on these. I. Mm. I kind of, uh, I kind of wanted to not do an update when a card is just upgraded or something, and only if it does a, has a new one. Let's see. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for today then. So we head on over here. Put down the save. Number. Oh, okay. We have only. Uh, we do have a limited amount of these. Then I'll overwrite the first one. Okay. Yep. Day 19. And off we go. All right. Uh, we got, we got, some, we've got some progress. Yeah. Like for story, we probably should be focusing more on the store on the uh, on the village. But when there is a, an event going on, I say we should go focus on getting food on getting supplies for that. Uh, yeah. But yeah. <clears throat> Still some progress, but yeah. Let's head on out over here and um, yeah I'll, I'll look into improving my bluetooth connection somehow i don't get why just it's just at certain points that it seems to get a bit hiccupy but for now let's go look for someone to raid so let me change the screen share over there okay let's see we have core dust with escape the back rooms and uh, let me double check if yeah everything is muted Okay. Uh, oh, they, they, it seems they switched over. <laughs> they just switched over to Overwatch 2. Or Overwatch quote unquote 2. Uh, next up, we have Azra Arcane, who is doing an art stream, apparently. Uh, typically, not what we raid, but. Okay, they're making a new uh, model for themselves. We have Lashris, who is streaming Final Fantasy 15. Uh, Derpy Doo is still streaming Baldur's Gate. Todd Scaly Tail is now playing Call to the Lamb. Smoops on the Nonsense with Project Zomboid. WBPL with Mech Warrior Online. Big Free streams with also with Baldur's Gate. And Halloween is streaming Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. Uh, I'd personally say go raid Lazarus since they did come visit us earlier today. I agree with you. All right. A bit tit for tats. Okay, there we go. Copy the name. 
and let's see slash raid and paste like i've heard a bit uh, hello someone has been poking me uh Okay, Kathleen Hen just <laughs> sent me a, a DM, it seems. Uh, to the third, greetings, I really appreciate and find your content to be quite interesting to stream. I'll encourage you to keep up your fantastic word, uh, work, and th then the message gets cut off, it seems, uh, due to maybe a limit. But thank, yeah, thank you for that, Kathleen. <laughs> thank you for uh, yeah, liking my work. <laughs> and yeah, anyways, uh, slash rate and paste. And, well, of course, uh, that'll be it for today. Tomorrow, uh, our 100th Showcase Sunday, if nothing comes up in place of it, we'll probably start an hour earlier, so at 2 p.m. Amsterdam time, instead of the typical 3. Uh, and, yeah, we'll see how many of the games that I've prepped we'll get through. Uh, I have... We are, we'll try for double the usual, so... A minimum of eight about but i have eight backups installed so it's a total of 16 games <laughs> so even if some of them are turn out to be utter crap we should have more than plenty to cover for at least three hours or so maybe a fourth <clears throat> Holy. and yeah if we if we still have the energy to stream later in the evening then we uh yeah, we'll likely be streaming more L.A. Noir because, well, <laughs> Ram wanted to stream more L.A. Noir. <clears throat> and we may we may look at relocating the L.A. Noir stream because uh, uh, Ram, uh, want, Ram wants to see if uh, Ravenous Liz is up for joining us for those. Though I'm not sure how they would react to, uh, well... <laughs> the uh, sudden nudity in the homicide desk of that game all of a sudden. And there's no sensor option or anything that I found. Okay. But uh, I did actually put in something that should help uh, save me on a lot of editing time afterwards because I had to... On, on some parts of that stream, some parts of the last uh, L.A. Noir stream, I had to edit it frame by frame to cover everything up oh dear mm. but yeah uh for now though thank you all again for watching thank you big trucker thank you uh let's see uh da -da -da. yeah it seems it was just trucker at the moment and well, anyone who is who subscribed uh, yes <laughs> thank you again uh kathleen i uh, hope you enjoyed well, you did you enjoyed the show enough to give a follow so yeah <laughs> Probably said this too much already, but thank you all the same again. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And with that, we'll start the raid. And yeah, <laughs> I've already said too much probably tonight, but thank you all again, all the same. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. I was out for zombie sharks. <laughs>